Welcome to Carol and Gary's Sea America Tour. Hello again everyone. Today is Saturday, October 20th, 2018. Carol, Jasper, and I just drove west 275 miles from Las Cruces, New Mexico to Tucson, Arizona on Interstate 10. Arizona became the 48th state on February 14th, 1912, and is the 21st state that Carol and I have visited together. We will be hanging out and sightseeing in Tucson for the next 12 days before driving north to Apache Junction for the winter. On Sunday, October 21st, and then again on Monday, October 22nd, Carol, Jasper, and I drove up near the top of Mount Lemmon. At 9,159 feet above sea level, Mount Lemmon is the highest point in the Catalina Mountains and is just a few miles north of Tucson. We drove near the top of Mount Lemmon twice because I forgot to charge the camera battery and weather chase us off the mountain on Sunday. Monday was a clear and sunny day, so we decided to drive back up. Mount Lemmon was named for botanist Sarah Plummer Lemmon, who trekked to the top of the mountain with her husband in 1881. The summit of Mount Lemmon is 9,159 feet above sea level, but you can't access anything above 8,000 feet without a 4x4 because all roads above 8,000 feet are gravel. Tucson is noted for its abundance of cactus, and the lower elevation of Mount Lemmon is no exception. The saguaro cactus seen here only grow in the Sonora Desert and only below 4,000 feet in elevation. Here is a picture of Carol and Jasper sunning themselves on the rocks. As we drove higher, cactus was not as plentiful but we saw interesting rock formations. From one of the lookout areas, we could see other cars coming up. We saw several aspen trees with golden yellow leaves as we reached the 8,000 foot height. It was 77 degrees when we started up Mount Lemmon, but the temperature dropped to 55 degrees by the time we reached that point at 8,000 feet where we turned around and had to go back down. I was able to capture these photos of the weather as we were driving back down on Sunday. After a total washout due to rain on Tuesday and having some work done on the motorhome at Camping World on Wednesday, Carol and I toured the Sarko Mission Mine, approximately 18 miles south of Tucson on Thursday, October 25th. Sarko is the American Smelting and Refining Company. Sarco owns three large open pit mines in Arizona. The Mission Mine is one of those three. Sarco digs copper ore out of these open pit mines and then processes the ore to extract copper. This pit is currently two and a half miles long by one and a half miles wide and 1,200 feet deep. It sits on 20,000 acres. Three truckloads of overburden have to be dug out of the ground before they can get down to the copper ore. Typical copper ore coming out of the mine only contains six tenths of one percent copper. The Komatsu rock trucks used at the Mission Mine can carry 2,880 cubic feet of rock that weighs 240 tons.
This loader can fill a 2,880 cubic foot rock truck with just four scoops. Truckloads of rocks are driven to one of two on-site rock crushers where rocks are crushed down to softball sized rocks in the first phase. Rocks are then crushed even smaller in a secondary phase and then a third phase crushes the rocks down to the consistency of very fine sand. This is the building where the third phase is happening. The fine sand is mixed with lime, pine oil, water, and biodegradable chemicals in a series of large tanks. The mixing creates a foamy froth on top of the tank as you can see in this video. Copper minerals stick to this foamy froth so the froth has skimmed off the tank. Waste materials called tailings sink to the bottom of the tank and go to the tailings thickener tank. The froth is thickened by removing the water then pumped to the filter plant. The filter plant removes and recycles most of the water from the copper concentrate. The copper concentrate, now 28% copper, is sent by railroad cars to smelters in Hayden, Arizona or El Paso, Texas. Smelting is a process of applying heat to ore in order to extract out a base metal. After smelting, the copper is 99.99% pure, which is what is needed to make copper wire. One 2,880 cubic foot load of copper ore can produce enough wire to build six and a half houses, or 57 cars, or 576 refrigerators. On Friday, October 26, Carol and I visited Old Tucson. Old Tucson has been the filming location for more than 400 films and television projects since 1939. It is one of the most active filming locations for western themed movies, television, cable shows, and commercials in the United States. Old Tucson came to life in 1939 when Columbia Pictures chose a county owned site in which to build a replica of 1860's Tucson for the movie Arizona. The $2.5 million film starring William Holden and Gene Arthur set a new standard for realism for Hollywood westerns, spurring a move from studio backdrop movies to outdoor epics. Local technicians and carpenters built a town from scratch, erecting more than 50 buildings in 40 days. Without the convenience of running water, they made more than 350,000 adobe bricks from the desert dirt to create authentic structures for the film. Many of these structures still stand today, although some have been altered through subsequent years. In 1959, entrepreneur Robert Sheldon leased the old Tucson property from the county and began to restore the aging facility. Old Tucson reopened in 1960 as both a film studio and a theme park. The park continued to grow building by building with each movie filmed on its dusty streets. The theme park part of Old Tucson is that stagecoach rides, a miniature train, horseback rides, and a miniature motorized car rides have been added for entertainment. In addition, performers enact skits with a western theme in the Grand Palace Ballroom and Old Tucson stuntmen performed in the courtyard of the Old Mission. As we were leaving Old Tucson on Friday, we saw more saguaro cactus, so I had to get out the camera. And with that, I am closing out this first week in Tucson, Arizona. We will be in Tucson until early on Thursday, November 1st. If you like this video but have not yet subscribed, please do so to be notified of future videos and feel free to share with your friends. Thanks for watching.